Hi, I'm Mitchell Spearman. I love watching great players and great golf swings. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer studying them. But the most fun I have is watching great players hit great shots, iconic golf shots. It really defined who they were. So I'm gonna take a little look at a couple of players, recall what they did, how they did it, and see what we might learn from that great shot. One of my favorite shots was Tiger Woods' shot at the 2002 PGA Championship. He was in a fairway bunker off the tee. It's a very difficult hole, left, right wind, and it was cold, because I remember he was wearing a sweater. The ball was below his feet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he probably took like a three iron, so he was obviously a couple of hundred yards out. He had trees in front of him, and he hits this most ridiculous shot, which got up so quickly that I think that's what surprised everybody, the commentators included, and he hit it to 20 feet, and as you would expect, Tiger also knocked in the putt. I think there'd been rain, so the bunker had kind of firmed out a little bit, which probably made it easier for the strike. But how was he able to generate so much speed and so much height on the shot. Well, I think there's a couple things when I've started this swing multiple, multiple times. It, it, it's firstly when the ball's below your feet, you don't have as much power. The ball's away from you, you're bending over a little bit more, your arms are further from your body, and you can't rotate as well through the shot. So the first thing is you're not going to normally hit the ball as far. So what Tiger did to compensate that was really increase the speed of his arms. His arms got a lot quicker on the downswing, and he really folded them more quickly on the follow through. He wasn't even able to get off his right side going through the shot. So he generated the speed through folding his arms, and probably staying on his right side made him add a little bit more loft, hence getting the ball up higher as well. There's just such a rip through the ball with his right shoulder, his arms folded here, his right leg very straight, hips uh, very horizontal on the follow through, and it was just all about arm speed generation. And of course, as one would expect, it lands on the green and finishes 20 feet and he makes the putt. The real lesson here is firstly learn what you can do and learn what you can't do. So under situations which are very difficult like that, Tiger knew he could do that shot and he was capable. But if you find yourself in that situation and you can't, that's fine, play on out. If you can play that shot or you want to have fun doing it, then by all means go ahead and, and give it a try. The ball below the feet was the difficult part and the challenge, but he had the skill and the expertise and the knowledge to speed up his arms, not the rotation of his body, in order to get the distance and the height on the shot. So I hope that helps you. Next time you find yourself in an awkward spot on the golf course and you really need to make it count.